Welcome to a review of Legacy Eau de Parfum. It's a 2023 release from the house of Faconable, a French house. But I have to say there's something strange about this because it's newly released because it's newly released, but I didn't see it at the official website. So I contacted them and asked and they said it's not in production. Released 2003. So I don't know what's up with that. Something strange. Maybe it's uh, wrong information or sadly it's already gone. But anyways, here's my take on this. Starting with the package. Uh, it's a brown box. It's uh, sturdy and uh, the overall impression you get with this is just, yeah, it's well made. And uh, when you open it up, you get this uh, ambery bottle. If you can see, I mean, it, it almost feels like you've ordered a Hermes when you receive and open this package. The bottle is in line with a medium price designer scent. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it has this uh, weighty bronze, shiny bronze cap uh, that just, yeah, it signals that you made a good blind buy uh, with this from a perhaps unknown house you never heard of. So that's good to, to feel. The notes, according to my source, are mandarin orange, grapefruit, pepper, cinnamon, coriander, geranium, amber, cypriol, and patchouli. So you see straight away, this is going to be spicy, right? And going into the opening, we have this uh, perfectly pleasing quality opening and the blend quality jumps out at you immediately. While it's fresh and familiar, I mean, it's not in the vein of uh, anything really, I, I know. It's, uh, it's quite uh, unique. I mean, it stands on its own legs to me. It's color matched perfectly. So you see the, the, the light brown here. It smells like advertised. It's a, it's a fresh brown. It's semi-formal, muted, upscale, European sophisticated, grown up, but still fresh, liked by all scent. Really hard to go completely wrong with this. It's all these fresh notes mingling with spiciness and behind it, this is sturdy wooden backbone to give it some, some body, some weight. Perhaps it's uh, greatest for early fall, but you can serve all the seasons with this. The smell, it's, it's fairly complex. I smell different nuances almost every time I, I, I put my nose on it. Citrusy, woody, freshness, spiciness. It has this good balance. It's made to suit many men. It's like right in the middle, which some will find boring, but others will find just perfectly executed, masterfully done. This is actually not reminding me of many other fragrances. Uh, I would not like to directly compare it, but if you had, had to get the idea of what it's like, I would say the one from Dolce & Gabbana is uh, it's the one that's pretty close. But that one is more fruity. More fruity, more summery. And uh, a slightly younger. This is uh, the same sip code as it, but it does its own thing. And it's more, I think, uh, more, a, a bit more sophisticated and a bit more mature and a bit more towards fall. And it has Cypriol in it, which is a pretty unusual note for men's fragrances. And I think it brings something, you know, strange or unique or interesting or interesting enough not to be this total people pleaser frag. One important note, the price to quality ratio is insane. I've been trying a lot of uh, cheap to mid-range priced fragrances lately. Sarah fragrances, Tooze, the Tooze house, Mercedes-Benz, Ferragamo, F Black and all that, some Frank Olivier's and uh, you know a bunch of Arabian houses that's gotten great remarks on Fragrantica. But usually when ordering these cheaper kinds of scent I very often get uh, disappointed in the opening 
of how you know sheep they smell you know just the syntheticness of of them it just smells sheep especially in the opening for fresh frags it's more noticeable when you go fresh if it's a sheep you're not because you can smell the sheep ones have more of a chemical smell and usually also some funkiness that shouldn't be there it's like they cut some corners also i recently tried a uh, 10 Manceras. I bought a discovery set and since I like freshies I picked a lot of fresh ones they had and I was quite surprised at how soapy, uh, soapy sheep the opening was in this in this uh, very renowned house. I mean their freshies uh, I mean they're okay but looking at the price you can get like very well made designers for the, the price I just thought they smelled like, you know, soapy, sheep, bargain, you know, no. This one, completely the opposite. This smells expensive. This smells much more expensive than it is. And it smells expensive, period, to me. The blend is just that good. This smells like high quality and not at all sheep and synthetic, like a lot of uh, uh, its peers in the low to mid range priced fragrances to put it that way the performance is adequate it's just adequate it's well for a fresh fragrance now performance has very lot to do with uh, the type of fragrance right if it's a fresh fragrance you can't judge it by standards of a non-fresh fragrance that's just the name of the game and there's also expectations personal expectations you might have had fragrances that were very strong which you liked and that is setting your um, tolerance for it up high so when you go to uh, something that's not uh, in the same category of performance you might get very disappointed because you have different expectations so i would say for this one it is good for what it is it's fresh it's low price and uh, it's not made to fill a room, you know? This uh, is adequate. The first hour, it, um, it performs well. It radiates, it's there. Uh, then after an hour, I think, uh, it goes closer to skin and it becomes this second skin. It's a second skin scent. I mean, it's made to just stay close to you, not escape and make itself known to others when you're in close proximity. Simply, if you're not expecting a signature powerhouse here, uh, I don't think you will be disappointed by this one. It's a, it's a good performance for a fresh kind of fragrance. My verdict, my verdict is uh, I have no choice but to give this a 4 out of 5. I mean, adding in the low price, it's incredible quality for the price. And that just makes it a four out of five. And I really like the balance in the in the note profile and just how this smells. It's not too sweet. It's not too spicy. It's not overbearing, but it's got that little bit of interest going for it. The uniqueness with the Cipriol. Um, yeah. Great one. Facunable, I think it's pronounced. Check them out. I'm excited to see if the their other releases will be the same kind of quality as this one. That's it. Bye.